Hey guys, Ben from Men's Game Time. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy Duelist. Last time we did Field of Screams and dueled against Camula, who used a vampire-themed deck, but in the end we defeated her like all the other opponents. And so this time I'm going to be doing Dual Distractions. So let's get started. With two spirit gates already open, the Shadow Rider Tania defeated Bastion and gained possession of his spirit key. After losing his duel to Tania, Bastion became infatuated with her and wanted a rematch to prove that he was worthy of her. Tania. Can't you take a hint? I already dumped you, don't you remember? He wants a rematch. He can't have one, but you seem quite brave. I do, but I'm here for my friend. He already lost. I'll, I duel you, or there's no duel. I never back down from a challenge, I'll do it for Bastion. You know the rules, if you lose this duel, you lose your spirit key and single status. Meaning you move here to this battle arena with me and become my husband forevermore. I sure hope that Jaden knows what he's doing. I sure do, and when I'm done, Bastion will know that you don't have to be in love to duel with passion. What do you say we start this, huh? Alright, so yeah, that's another Shadow Rider right there. And so yeah, Bastion is in love for her, whatever. I don't actually really remember this episode from the show that much. I... Yeah, okay, we lost the Rock, Paper, Scissors, that's okay. Yeah, I actually do not really remember this one that well. Okay, we go a second anyway, so that's fine. Huh. Again, like, I don't remember GX as well as the um, original Yu-Gi-Oh, so... Awesome, we got... We have all spell and trap cards. I do remember though that she does have an Amazon like themed deck. Oh boy, so we have just nothing. We have all spell and traps. Okay, so what's this one? Uh, all Amazon's monst monsters gain 200 attack once per turn when Amazon's monster is destroyed by battle or by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Amazonist monster from your deck with a level less than or equal to the Amazonist monster in the graveyard. Ooh. Alright. This is a really bad hand right now. I got Skyscraper. We can activate that. Why not? And then... Okay, when you... When an elemental hero clayman you control is targeted for attack, even if it is face down, but reveal it to your opponent in that case, destroy the attacking monster in that clayman and inflict... 800 damage to your opponent. Alright, we don't have clay man. I'm gonna use this. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, your opponent choose one random card from your hand. Then if it is a monster, well, I can't use that right now. Um, we'll play it face down anyway. And target one monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. I have nothing right now, so I'm gonna have to just hope that I draw a monster next turn. Like, that was not a good setup. However, attacking now gives me the opportunity to use Mirror Force, so at least there's that. At least I can destroy two monsters. Although, by card effect, that means you can summon two monsters anyway, so... Really... I just kinda, like, saved my life points only a little bit, though. Like, that's the thing. Alright, we got Spark Man. Um... I'm gonna have to play him in defense mode. Wait, no, actually... Skyscraper. Uh, when an elemental hero monster attacks, if its attack is lower, it gains attack 1,000 attack during the damage step, so we can defeat that. Never mind. Good thing I uh, played him in attack mode. Oh, what's this do? Amazon archers. I don't even know what that did. Um, what did that do? Uh, activate only when your opponent declares an attack. While you control an Amazonist monster, all monsters your opponent controls are changed to face-up attack position. Flip effects are not activated and lose 500 attack as long as they remain face-up on the field. Your opponent must attack with all of their monsters. Ooh. Alright. That's, uh, that's an interesting card right there. So, so far, not so good. We only did 100 damage. And, yeah... I need to get a, um, whew, this is not going good. I need to get a Clayman right now. Nope. Alright. Let me see here. 
Any fusions with them? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, no. Alright, let's use Warrior. That's the problem, though, that it brings it back to my hand. We'll just use it. And then... Summon Sparkman onto the field. And then... Attack the uh, Paladin again. Again with this card, same thing. And they both get destroyed, and she's... This is a really... Whew, this is a really good deck, and I have not been lucky with my cards. And so, yeah, we're gonna end turn. I think that might be... This might be it. She... Scouts, okay. So, direct attack. Um, yeah, I... Hmm... Yeah, let's do this. This might save me. Okay, it has to be that monster. I'm going to put her in defense mode. Yeah, that just saved my life points right there. I would have lost otherwise. So we have one more turn. But I don't know if it's going to work. Well, graceful charity. Let's see here. Two, three. Alright, what do we got? Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, target one elemental hero card and one polymerization in your graveyard. Add both of these. Okay. Um, don't want Fusion Gate. Actually, mm, yeah, I don't want Fusion Gate. And I need to. I need that to be destroyed by battle. I got my Clayman. What's this one do again? When you're when an elemental hero Clayman is targeted for attack. Destroy the attacking monster and that elemental hero, and you deal 800 damage. See the okay, I want to keep that, even though I'm going to lose. So, send Rottweiler to the graveyard, I guess, or... Should I send Palmer's... No, Rottweiler. Summon him in defense mode, and then play this face down. And maybe a miracle can happen. Probably not, though, because she's going to attack with one of the monsters. Actually, wait, I think... This could work out, one way or another. This could work out. I nope, never mind. Too many monsters for it to work out. Oh, she's wait, she's sacrificing monsters, and I lost. Okay, I guess that yeah, attribute monsters and inflict damage to your opponent directly. All right, so that just uh, that did not work out well. So yeah, let's go with. Another attempt here. Hopefully our first hand was better. Like, as soon as I saw, like, no monsters in the opening hand, uh, we'll go with Pate. No, Paper lost. As soon as I saw that we did not get any monsters in the first, like, cards, like, I knew at that point it was probably going to be a loss just because of, like, how the cards ended up. Alright. So I'm going to activate Fusion Sage to get a polymerization off the bat. That's pretty good. Um, we will, oh wait, I can activate Polymerization now. What can I fuse together? Oh, I can get, um, Mariner in the field or something like that. Yeah, Tempest, that's what it is. Um, you can send one, one other card you control to the graveyard to target one monster you control. While this card is face up on the field, that monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Interesting. So yeah, we're going to fusion summon that and get a really powerful monster in the first turn. Awesome. Yeah. Put him in attack mode, obviously. And then we're going to just put um, Clay Charge down, uh, face down, even though we don't have Clayman yet. And I can't attack on the first turn, but that was a pretty good opening move. Like, that's kind of like... Oh, what's this? Oh, don't tell me. Are you serious? Well, <laughs> super powerful monster gets destroyed opening turn. Oh boy, this is not going well. Put that in defense mode, I guess. I got nothing. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's the th that's one thing about um, Yu-Gi-Oh is that like you could have the same exact deck, but like a little bit of the game is luck, like. 
if you don't have a good combination of cards at the right moment, you can lose. And I might have just lost again. Unless I can get a monster reborn, that would be, uh... Yeah, I got nothing right now, so if she summons a, another monster, that's enough to, like, defeat me, you know. Uh, I got... 3,500 dam... No, 4,500 damage, so yeah, I got one more turn. See, that's the thing. I thought I did really well on summoning that monster, but then it's like, nope, we're gonna switch attack points. Oh, yes! I'm saved! Yes! Oh, wait, never... I can't re... I can't monster reborn a fusion monster? Okay, well, Sparkman's more powerful than all of them, so... Put him in attack mode, and there we go. We're safe. For now. Right? Yeah, those are all 1,500. Uh, your opponent... Okay, your opponent takes all battle damage that you would have taken in a battle involving this card. So let's not attack those. And this one just takes no battle damage. Uh, what's this? Archers? <laughs> yeah, be kidding me. Oh, I, I desperately need um, Wild Heart for the next one. Man, this is gonna be a tough one. And yep, just end it now. There we go. That was terrible. That was uh that was really bad. Like yeah, I need a I need Wild Heart and Clayman pretty early in order to uh, protect against attacks and trap cards. So I guess I'll cut here and then come back when we actually win. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, Clayman and oh, we get Thunder Giant. We can get Thunder Giant first turn. That's good. All right, we're gonna just do that because we need to get the strong monsters out early. Put him in attack mode, obviously. We're gonna play Mirror Force face down. Um, I'm gonna keep these in my hand, and then... I... No, wait, the monster had to be face up, I couldn't do the effect. Alright, um, that ends my turn right there. So we have Mirror Force to protect Thunder Giant. Thunder Giant's on the field anyway, so that's good. Um, your opponent takes all battle damage that would have involved this card. <laughs> Darn. Thought of everything. Okay, well I have Spark Man, so I can just use Spark Man and only take 100 damage. Oh, what am I doing, actually? Never mind. Um, let's um activate the effect. Discard um, a hero merges. I'm not going to really need that and then destroy that. Oh uh, man, what's this do? Alright, so she saved it. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to keep Warrior returning alive. In my, hmm, do I want to actually use it? Uh, we'll keep it for now because if I can get a second polymerization, I can fuse. I can bring back Clayman and fuse them together. Um, Alright, so she saved her card, it seems, from the effect and brought out a um, paladin to take its place. Good move. And she's gonna summon summon a paladin, alright. Oh uh, no. Wait, I'm okay, I'm okay. Yes. Mirror Force, go. Save me. Does this may not get my original attack back, though. That's the question. Yeah, okay, I got the original attack. Um, I get someone Bubble Man. Let's think about this. Okay, so 24 plus 1,600. That is... 4,000. Oh, I can win this turn. I can win. We're gonna bring back Spark Man. And summon him. And then just attack. 
Oh, this was a much easier time than the last two attempts, man. This was much easier than the previous attempts. There we go. There we go. That was much easier. And just needed to get Thunder Giant, and just you had to just get the right cards. That's all it was, you know. Thunder Giant and Mirror Force. I guess that's game. Let me know if you ever want a rematch. No rematch. I joined the Shadow Riders to find a duelist who would be worthy to be my husband, but I've discovered I am not worthy to be with someone strong as you. Farewell, Bastion. Well then, I guess that this is it. Boy, Bastion, you sure know how to pick them. Don't worry, buddy. There's plenty of fish in the sea. So there we go. We uh, have defeated her, and then like that that duel was just like a little difficult, you know. Lost a couple times, but after getting the right combination of cards, we won. So next time we're gonna be doing a reason to win, and actually dueling as Alexis right now. So yeah, see you guys then.